with unprecedented use of Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google+, and so many more social networks, there is an opportunity to understand buyers like never before. Each and every day, your prospects are giving hints away on if and when they are ready to buy your product or service. So, your job is to identify those buying signals. But, what is a buying signal? A buying signal is an indication of purchase intent and buyers are giving them away, for free, on social media. These can come in hard or soft forms. An example of a hard signal is somebody asking about the price or feedback around your product, or that of a competitor. An example of a soft signal might be, let's say we sell baby cribs and we monitor people who are researching baby names. This intent tells us that in several months' time, this same person will be needing shopping for a baby crib. By monitoring your prospects and the right topics on LinkedIn, Twitter, and more, you can pick up on these. Notice each of these signals are discrete, since they reside only in the buyer's world and can only be picked up through careful listening. Listening for real-time buying signals on multiple social networks will allow you not only to find new leads, but also identify when prospects are at the most important moments of their buying process. Quora, Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn groups are the best places to find and listen for buying signals. Social relationship platforms like Hootsuite help monitor all of these in one spot and have app integrations with tools like NeedTagger to help identify purchase intent on social media. You can use these signals to write your emails, subject lines, conversations, and watch how quickly you navigate the sales funnel, changing prospects to paying customers. Don't forget, social is not a place for a hard sell. It's a place to build trust and credibility. Hootsuite broke these buyer signals into two categories, early stage and late stage buying signals. Early stage buying signals indicate that leads are near the beginning of their decision-making process, when they can be challenged to think strategically. If someone is signaling that they're in the early stages of their purchasing cycle, then you should give them advice or empower them with an awareness-building content. Early examples of early stage buying signals are questions about a business problem, frustration with a competitor's solution, an announcement of a new senior management hire that indicates budget expansion, geographic expansion. Recognizing late stage buying signals will help you focus your efforts on prospects who are looking for help and ready to make decisions and stop wasting time on those who aren't. Look for prospects that are actively considering solutions, then rapidly assist them by answering their questions and providing them with relevant educational content. Examples of late stage buying signals are requests for product or service recommendations, engagement with a competitor's sales engineer, inquiries about product features, warranty and pricing information. However, you can't spend your whole day monitoring social media for buying signals. The trick is to work it into your daily routine in a systematic way. Social selling should not be a standalone program and a strong content strategy is core to a successful social selling program. If you are already creating great content that resonates with your social audience, repurposing it on a daily basis for your social selling program is an efficient way to boost the progress. A well-planned process and guidelines will make social selling practices repeatable and minimize program risk.